this is only for Windows users. Skip this part if that is not you. I already explained why Linux shell is essential. I did not go into great length to explain the reasons given that I'm assuming that you already know that. So we will jump straight into Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL. It lets us run Linux environment directly on Windows and without the overhead of a virtual machine. It is part of Windows, not a replacement. So you can keep doing Windows stuff while still benefiting from Linux shells and quite a few other things. It is a much better solution than using shell emulators like uh, Sigwin or Gitbash or whichever else you might be using. And it saves you from wasting resources on a virtual machine. WSL might be the best thing that happened to Windows, at least during the last couple of years. Before we proceed, please note that I am assuming that you are using Windows 10 or newer. If that's not your case, there's not much I can do. Upgrade. Why would you not? Anyways, Windows 10 is a requirement for this part. Now, the setup is relatively easy and straightforward. So, let's get down to it right away. We will start by getting you up to date. So please open Windows Update Settings. You can do that by typing it in the search field or any other way you prefer opening applications. If you are running an older build of Windows, this might be the right moment to upgrade. I will assume that you know how to do that, so I will not explain how to upgrade. Just follow the instructions. Next, we need to turn on the developer mode. Open settings, followed with update and security, and select the four developers tab. Once you're inside, turn on the developer mode. Now we are ready to install the Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL. Open optional features. Select Windows subsystem for Linux. And restart. The only thing missing is to install Linux. So wait until Windows is restarted. Wait and wait and wait. And once the restart is finished, open Microsoft Store you should be able to install any Linux offered in the store. However, for simplicity, I recommend that you start with Ubuntu, since that's the one we will use in the examples that follow. Otherwise, you might need to modify the commands in the examples. Most of them should be the same, no matter which Linux you choose. And the significant change would be in installing and managing packages. So, Please search for Ubuntu, select it, and follow the instructions to install it. I am using Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Choose any Ubuntu you like, or don't choose Ubuntu, use something else. Once it is installed, we need to launch it. Now bear in mind that I might be going faster than you, I might fast forward, I don't want you to wait. But once the installation is finished, launch it. And then wait, and wait, and wait. And after a while, you will be asked for credentials. Type your username, enter the password, and confirm it. Whichever you choose, anything is good. So from now on, you should be able to use Bash. Let's confirm whether that is indeed true. Type exit to get out of Ubuntu's terminal and open Bash. B A S H. What you see in front of you is a bash shell. From now on, you can run the same commands as those using macOS or Linux. And you do not need to emulate anything or create a virtual machine. 
Nevertheless, we are not yet done getting to the same level as those using other operating systems. Ubuntu installed as WSL does not come with all the tools that are typically installed in a standalone Ubuntu. For now, we will focus only on the essential tools. We will need curl, CURL to send requests or download files. We will also need Git. And I have no intention of explaining what it does. You're in deep trouble if you never used Git. We'll start by adding git-core package repository. Now you will notice from now on we are using Linux commands, shell commands, specifically for Ubuntu. You will be asked for the password, use the same one you provided during the Ubuntu installation process. Now from now on, I will not be telling you to type the password whenever you are asked or to confirm that you want to continue with some process. I will assume that you know how to do those things. Next, we need to update the local copy of package definitions. So let's execute sudo apt update. And now we are ready to install CURL and git. And we are going to do that with sudo apt install curl and git. We will not need the terminal anymore in this section, so let's exit. Let's get out of it. And that's it. You're still using Windows for whatever reasons you like using it. But you also have Ubuntu running as Windows subsystem. And you can use it for all shell-related tasks. Now you should be able to run all the commands from this course without resorting to black magic, emulations or virtual machines. Now, please note that there might be other packages you might need. I will provide the instructions for those required in this course and you are on your own for the others. I'm sure that you will figure them out. What matters is that from now on, you should follow the instructions for Linux and not for Windows. As a matter of fact, there will not be any Windows specific instructions anymore. You are a Linux guru now, at least when commands and scripting are concerned. Let me make sure that the message is clear. From now on, follow the instructions for Linux whenever something is executed from a command line. Let's join the address and set up a proper shell. Thank you so much for watching. Click the thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe if you would like to receive notifications when new videos are posted. The video you just watched was taken from the DevOps Toolkit Catalog Patterns and Blueprints. It is a course on Udemy and a book currently available from Limpop. Please check it out. If you do, Bear in mind that this is work in progress. You will receive new sections as soon as I create additional ones. You might also want to check out other courses and books or the DevOps Paradox podcast I am hosting with Darin. Your support is very, very welcome and useful. The links are in the description together with promotion codes and discounts.